Hello, this is Bern, and if you want to learn four ways that you might be acting like his mommy, so you can stop doing it, why? Because it's going to destroy your relationship if you don't, then stick around because I'll be sharing them with you on my episode today. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your great life to be.com. Today's another edition of Get the Love You Crave, and on today's episode, I'll be sharing with you four ways that you may be acting like his mommy so you can stop right away. Why is it important to stop right away if you're acting like his mommy? Well, because the truth of the matter is, if you act like his mommy, you're going to create this horrible dynamic that's going to end your intimacy with him. It's gonna generate rebellious attitude and also um, pain and resentment from him. So. It's absolutely not worth it and most women who do this are not conscious of the fact that that's the relationship they're creating. They just step into it out of need sometimes or out of just wanting to control the situation. But it's totally unnecessary if you choose the right guy and if you don't choose the right guy then you just need to choose the right guy. So the first way that you may be acting like his mommy is by playing the punishing game. So if you don't want to act like his mommy, do not play the punishing game. What does that mean? Well, he acts in a way he shouldn't where he says something he shouldn't say, and instead of having an adult conversation with him, where you can clearly, vulnerably express what happened, how you felt, and what you want as a result of the situation, you get PC and you punish him with your coldness, or with your ice queen uh, nature, or with like doing something that is not necessarily addressing the situation you're just like you're doing what a mom would do if she in some way to a child like punish him for being bad it creates the wrong kind of situation for yourself and again it starts creating this lack of polarity in the relationship why because no man wants to have sex with his mommy so if you create that type of aura and energy that's exactly what's going to happen to your relationship number two stop stepping in to tell him and remind him of things that he should know for himself. There's, there's, he can get a phone and he can set a little reminder and he can just own it. So if you are the kind of human being who wants to tell him when he should do things because he won't remember otherwise, you're doing the same thing a mom would do when you're telling the son, like, hey, have you done your homework? Well, remember you have to do it and you're going to get bad grades. Like, don't do that shit. It's not good for you. It's not good for him. And more than helping him to be better, you're enable him to stay incompetent and you don't want to do that. Number three, yeah, I'm being strong on this one. <laughs> Number three, don't pick up the slack from exasperation versus love. So what does this mean? This means that if you notice that he, he needs help with something, nothing wrong if you want to bring yourself up from a place of love and say, hey, let me chip, chip in right now. Let me help you with this. Do you need some help? Perfectly awesome that you do that. When you start helping and doing things, not because you love him so much, but because he can't freaking do it, and because you're tired of telling him he needs to do it, again, you're enabling versus helping, and you're creating this dynamic that creates resentment in him, and you more than him in that situation, but also a child, childish nature that is not what you want in a partner or a man. Number four, super simple, but I can't tell you how many women fall for this one, and that's don't teach him how to fucking dress. Don't teach him how to dress. <laughs> Why? Because you either connect with a guy who is an adult and understands his space in the world and knows that he should wear a suit to a wedding and he should wear shorts to a beach, or, or you're going to be facing a situation where you're having all the time to remind him what he should dress, color combination, things of that nature. Again, like nothing is more emasculating to a dude than his woman telling him how he should dress. He may or may not say, but what you're doing is, in essence, grabbing his nutsack and hitting it hard. It's not good. Not good for him or for you. So, uh, I know that I'm being hard on you today. Why? Because the last thing I want is for you to create a relationship with a dude where you feel like you have to be in control all the time, where you can't relax, where you have to be the grown-up. Allow him to either show up as a grown-up and jointly grow together, or if he doesn't show up as a grown-up, then move forward with again with a guy who can be. 
but don't make him into a man. He should be a man on his own. Hope this is helpful, insightful, and useful to you. If it is, I'm going to ask you to do three things. Number one, click like on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel. Number three, on the description of this video, you're going to find a link. And here's the thing with that link. If you want to understand not just how to not be his mommy, but how to create the deepest level of connection with someone, how you can attract your soulmate in a much faster way, in a much easier way than your trajectory in the past, with no gimmicks, no manipulation, no bullshit, then all you do is you click on that link, you're going to be brought to a page where you'll see a sign, a uh, yellow tab, click on the yellow tab, enter your name and email, and you'll be taken away to this masterclass instantly where you can start watching and putting into practice as soon as you finish watching it. Thank you so much for connecting with me and as always I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.